guys what's going on it's Raven back with a YouTube video today we're gonna to talk about a couple of things first I want to apologize for about yesterday I haven't felt great I do apologize uh, I just it's it's been a rough week man it's been a rough week uh, I think I'm feeling a little bit better but thank you guys for sticking around and being patient with me uh, today today is getting better um, we'll talk about it more later on but anyways I just wanted to give to give you guys thanks for hanging out, uh, hanging out there with me, man. It's just, it's been rough. But like I said, we'll talk more about that later. Um, today, I want to talk to you guys about a couple of things. And yes, today, I, uh, this morning, I am on my hunter. Um, I want to talk to you about three things: um, strange coins, legendary marks, and the supercell. Yeah, I got that uh, exotic auto rifle not too long ago. I want to talk to you guys about this. We've had a lot of questions on legendary marks and strange coins so let's dig into that first okay so everybody's been wondering how i keep getting uh legendary marks over and over again um and the best thing i can tell you to do is the dailies i do dailies religiously on all three characters and it applies legendary marks across my entire account okay that's just that's that's how it work it's like clockwork to me i, I do it i constantly do it uh, I'm lacking uh, the gunsmith is what I need to be doing uh, here, but something totally different um, But anyways So every day what I do is I come through the tower Usually try to do it on each of my characters now if I'm on stream I'll you'll see me do it on one or two of my characters and then when the streams over with before or after I will do it on the other ones depending on which one I'm gonna stream with and which ones that are gonna be an off stream uh, I make sure I do them all uh, let's see the other day. I believe it was Sunday. Yeah, no Saturday Saturday. I wasted all my marks I had zero as you can tell yesterday. I wasn't feeling good uh, I didn't stream but however I did do it on two or three of my characters and I got back up to 94 marks It just it, it that's how fast it was uh, it's, it's not hard so That's all over your dailies and stuff on, on top of that um, The strange coins I put back in the vault I'll pull them back out and this is over one day of farming uh, for strange coins, uh, I got it right back up to like 15 or 16. Yeah, 15. And I I blew, I think I went from 120, 150 motes of light down to 30, and I'm already back to 66. So the question is, I, I know you guys are asking, well, how do you do this? The best thing you can do for strange coins, and let's talk about that one first, is the dailies. These bounties will usually uh, reward me either a blue ingram, uh, one or two strange coins, and a couple modes of life. That's how these work. Sometimes I get five strange coins from these. On top of all these, in doing these, I'm ranking up over here. Uh, for this character, I'm ranking up Dead Orbit as well as uh, Vanguard. Um, on top of that, I'm also ranking up Raul. Raul's already jumped up to seven, okay? Now, with these three ranking up, every time they get one more rank, I get a package, okay? And the package contains five strange coins, always, uh, and a couple Ingrams, and maybe um, one or two materials, and, um, and some Motes Lights. The, and so, these three, I would think if I, like, this might go up today, this one probably won't, and Dead Orbit will. So I'm going to get a package from Dead Orbit, I'll probably get a package from Raul. That, that's just how these are going to rank up, and they just they just rank it up. So you want to do your dailies, your bounties, and then you want to do uh, turn all those in, and then you'll see these, and you'll get your packages. On top of that, if you have free time, whether you're streaming or not streaming, if you have free time, come back over here, and I'm bad about this, but I've been doing a lot lately, and do your daily PvP. Same thing applies. It's the same exact thing, except for this time, instead of leveling up your Vanguard, you'll be leveling up Crucible. But at the same time, you're still going to be getting Ingrams, you'll be leveling up a rule, and you'll still be getting other stuff. Uh, it, the, it also applies to your Dead Orbit. So see how this works? These four are always constantly ranking up daily. Daily. And that, that gets you um, your strange coins and modes of light. Now, in doing this last week, because people want to know how it worked, in doing this last week, I got 123 coins, strange coins, before Raul showed up. So Monday through Thursday, uh, no, I'm sorry, Sunday through Thursday, it was just straight grinding it after I, I wasted all my strange coins and stuff. It, I, <laughs> I had... Um, 123 strange points before Raul would ever showed up. Now, I know I do stream every day and I'm a little bit uh, more of, it doesn't apply to me if I'm, you know, not so much a casual gamer, I'm a little on the hard side. 
Um, but even if you were a casual, you could get 60 to 70 coins easily. I, I, you could get half of what I got. There, there's no reason why you can't just off doing that stuff alone, which is really neat and it's really nice. So that works um, for the bounties. That's what I have to tell you. Um, you can do PoE. Like I said, if it comes Wednesday or Thursday night and you know what's getting tight and you want some quick ones and guaranteed ones, go run some 28 Prison of Elders. You're guaranteed to get some strange points. Do I recommend that over the bounties? No. The bounties will give you Ingrams and rank up your stuff, whereas PoE will really not. It's going to barely rank up um, your House of Judgment, which you know is sort of so what right now. The best thing I can tell you to do is do your bounties. Once you do the bounties, you're going to want to come over here. Okay? These right here are here for a reason. They will also net you strange coins, motes of lights, um, and marks and help you level up. Okay? Now, the biggest thing about these is the legendary marks. Okay? Each one of these will give you legendary mark. Okay? See? I have not... For, I haven't done my dailies because obviously it's a new new day. These two are a must. These two are a must every day. Every day these are a must. There's no reason why you shouldn't be doing these every day. This if you win or lose then salvage it's 15 marks. Okay, you complete the starting mission it's 15 marks. Now this one works kind of like the heroic one does. Okay, you can play this up to three times with guaranteed 30 marks. Okay, you have to win in order to get the marks, but I believe you can do it three times. Don't quote me on that, but I believe you can get 30 out of this. If not, it's only 10, but I'm pretty sure you can grab 30 out of this. Same thing goes with this. You can grab 30 marks out of this. You can do it on one character, or you can do it one uh, uh, on all three of your characters. It doesn't matter. Okay. If you, the only the only bonus to this is if you do it with all three characters, is each character will be guaranteed a legendary Ingram. If you do it with one character, the first time through you get a legendary Ingram, and the second time and third time through you don't. You just you just get the legendary marks. However, you can do all these, okay? The Nightfall, the Heroics, this, you need to do all of these. They grant you legendary marks. You want the legendary marks, okay? Now, on top of all that, well, what happens if I've if I've tapped all these out and I'm tapped out already? It's not even, it's, it, it's before Tuesday to reset. You go up here, you run this, you run this. You do not run this. This will not grant you as much stuff. Even if you win or lose, you're not guaranteed to get anything out of the match. So you could spend 20, 30 minutes in a match, not, not 30, let's say 15, 20 minutes in a match and not get anything. Whereas you spend 20 minutes or 30 minutes in Vanguard Strike, you're going to get something out of it, okay? Ingram will drop, okay? I would run these. If you want to be a little bit brave, you can run these. Now, I will say I had luck running these this weekend, okay? I ran three. Out of the three, I got the Does Not Bow, and I got the Zahalo Supercell. So, I don't know if that means anything. I'm going to test it out against this. I told you guys I was going to test it out, uh, one versus the other. Um, so far, everything I've gotten has been through the Heroic. Does it mean it's been lucky? Probably, but I can't guarantee you that. So what i am going to say is run the vanguard stuff because you will get um legendaries and these legendaries guess what if you dismantle them it's three legendary marks which goes back over here and gives you this so that's how i got it okay i had so many legendary drops that these in in one day i got 30 more of uh motes of light a 30 plus more motes of light i had 15 strange coins drop and i got over 94 marks in one day Okay, and that was just a casual, maybe like two hours worth of playing, not very hardcore or anything like that, because I was leveling up my sword, trying to get the exotic. Okay, so that's that's what I'm saying about the marks. Do the dailies, do the bounties, and make sure you run Vanguard and dismantle some legendaries. That's how you get your marks and your strange coins. Now, the last thing I want to talk to you guys about real quick was um, this, the Sahalo Supercell. This gun is amazing. I'm still playing with it, but I dropped, I got it drop. It dropped off a legendary, or an exotic Ingram off of, um, I believe it was, uh, well, I'm not sure. Oh, the Undying Mind Strike. Yeah, the Undying Mind Strike. I'm still playing around with which ones I like best. Uh, I've kind of gone with stability on uh, the brace frame, but it reduced my magazine size. I think instead of 36, I now have 28 in the, in the chamber, which isn't bad, uh, but this perk over here is pretty sweet. So, uh, bolts in blue. Double kills with this weapon charge a small amount of super energy and return ammo to the magazine. Um, what I've seen is it returns about 13 to 14 clips back into the magazine 
if I have a double kill pretty quickly, which is insane. Um, this gun is is amazing. Uh, arc projectiles have a chance to chain lightning when enemies are closer together. So it's true. If I hit one of them, somebody else is close, it's getting hit with the chain lightning. Um, this is the only one I've seen so far that is elemental damage. Um, I'm sure we're going to get some stuff off the raid, uh, the hard mode raid that's going to be ele elemental damage. But so far, this has been the only one, and it is it is slick. Um, I'm thinking about playing with this. Aggressive ballistics to jump up my impact. That's the only thing that will jump jump up my impact as a uh, reduced uh, stability. Uh, I can get more uh, less uh, more range, but at the cost of stability and reload, which I didn't want. Um, Hammer forged is 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 pretty good. Um, it just it sacrifices my. Uh, my rain or my stability so I'm playing around with this uh, more than likely I'm gonna try out this today but that's you know see look that's how far my stability dropped so um, we we shall see we shall see don't really know how I'm gonna play with it but anyways this gun is great it's amazing um, it's really easy highly recommend it I definitely recommend that you do this and you get it to drop um, use your three of coins if you have three of coins uh, that's what I would recommend. Run the Vanguard Strikes, and you should be able to get it. Um, recommend it. I have a good feeling. My gut feeling says this week is going to be Arc Burn on Nightfall because we've had Void and Solar so far, so I'm sure this week's going to be Arc. But don't, again, don't quote me on it. Anyways, guys, those are the three things I want to go over you with. Um, again, I apologize for me being sick. Uh, I am feeling better. We'll talk more tonight. Guys, don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe. And, guys, I will see you tonight back inside of Destiny.